Okay, this is weird. Um, hello. Bit of a different setting. Actually, I am roasting. Let me pop my windows down. Where are my keys? This is going to go well, guys. This is going to be a really, really successful video because I cannot even find my keys. What is wrong with me? Where have I put them? I'm sitting on them. There we go. Okay, I need to pop my window down because I am sweltering. Your gal has passed her driving test. And I know, I know, I've already mentioned it on Instagram and a lot of people were like, how old do you have to be to learn to drive in the UK and all this stuff? And yes, I should have learned to drive about, well, exactly seven years ago now. Um, but let's not, let's not think about that better late than never she's got it done i did pass first time let me just throw that out there i feel like you've got to i passed my test two days ago two days ago uh, two days ago now and i haven't driven on my own yet so this is what this is going to be today kind of pooing myself a little bit don't know why because i've driven a lot like a lot a lot with other people and i'm absolutely fine kind of enjoy it actually i do enjoy driving but on my own, it's just a different ball game, isn't it? It's just like the safety blanket, isn't it? Having someone next to you when you are learning to drive, driving for the first time on your own. Just knowing that someone's there that if anything went wrong, I don't know. I don't know. For me, it's just a bit of a safety blanket. But guys, you'll never guess what just came. Literally, I came out, got in my car, postman arrived behind me, and my driving license came that came super quick they told me it would come in like 10 days 10 to days to two weeks and it came today so like two days which is crazy maybe it's three now hmm. but yeah i've kind of been putting it off i'm a little bit scared but we're just gonna go for it and i'm bringing you guys along with me which is either fine or a big mistake we will we will see do you know what at the end of the day if it gets too much i can just switch you off and i just change the lighting i can just switch you off and carry on on my own or just come back and cry <laughs> no we'll be fine we will be fine it's a beautiful day too so good vibes are we ready we're just gonna go for it i'll have a little chat about my driving test because i've had some questions on instagram you guys are just like me and just I mean, maybe you're not, but some of you are like me and you're just nosy and kind of want to know what someone else, someone else's test was like. So I'll have a little chat about that. Okay, she's ready. This is a bit of a different look for YouTube, isn't it? Oh my gosh, I've not even got my seatbelt on. <gasps> I'm stressed. At the end, you can tell me whether you would trust to be in my car or not. Would you let me drive you? Guys, I'm really scared. I can put in this off. Should we just wait for a bit? I feel like how I felt when I was going for my test right now. I don't know why. Right guys, we're gonna go. <gasps> my heart! Do you know what? This is gonna be like 10 minutes of me just sitting here. Like, we're gonna go. No, we're not. We're gonna go. Stop being a little wuss. Really sorry if this is boring. I kind of debated whether or not to do this video and you guys on Instagram wanted me to do it. So I'm going ahead and doing it. And actually just for me to look back on, I don't know, I wish I'd filmed more things in my life so I could just look back and be like, oh, when I'm old, I can look back and be like, looking at myself being a baby, going out for my first drive. <laughs> you know, or my children. When I have children in the future and they're going for their first drive, I can be like, hey, look at your mama when she went, you know? So I hope you enjoy. Hopefully it's not too eventful. I'm hoping it's not gonna be like, trending number one on youtube for me doing something really drastically wrong hopefully it's a boring video and then that means it's everything went well let's go let's go she can do this boss girl vibes let's go i'm gonna try not get too distracted let me actually put the seatbelt on properly that would be good let's go Okay, it's saying my boot is open, so that's a really good beginning. Let me go sort this out. <sighs> I've not even opened my boot since the last time I was in this car, and it didn't say it then. Two secs. Good start, Shaz. 
it's really tight to get around my house and it scares me. I'm gonna scrape my car. And there's a ball. Oh my God, she's gonna get around at some point. There's a doggy ball. Two sacks. She's off, guys. Whoop, whoop. Who is this girl? Who is she? I don't know her. It feels like I'm doing something so illegal, even though I have my test. Okay, I need to move my bottle. I have my test. I have my license. It feels like I'm doing something so illegal. Also, I'm really sorry for the lighting is so bad. She's driving on her own! Woo! <laughs> this is gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. We're all good. Do you know I get really scared when there's like little animals on the road? I know they're meant to just get out of the way and all that, but it really freaks me out. Speed bump. Okay, speed bumps and camera don't go well. Let me do this one slower. Okay, let's go super slow. How much petrol do I have? That freaks me out too. We're off! It's so sad that YouTube doesn't let you play music. And let me put the window up too, because you won't hear me. Ah! Who is this? Honestly, this is the weirdest thing ever. Just being able to drive on my own. Like, I don't even know where I'm going, by the way. I kind of live in the middle of nowhere, so we're just gonna... Oh no, there's a car coming! There's a car coming! Stop for me, please! Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Okay, I'll stop for them, will I? I'll stop for them. See, this good driver, she knows what she's doing. We did it. Sorry for if you hear my um, bottle rattling around. I wanted to bring a drink with me because <laughs> it's very hot. Who is this girl? I actually don't know who this girl is right now. She's driving and she's wearing glasses. Like, who is that? Okay, guys, let's go. She's going. She's going on the big girl roads. That's the thing. It's no different than if I was with someone, but it's just that kind of, and like, comfort blanket. I also have no clue where I'm going. If I go the wrong way and I end up on a road that I don't have a clue where I'm going, that's gonna be, be me finished. That's game over. I've not got a sat nav on or anything either. So that would be mad. I'd end up on the motorway and I've never driven on the motorway and I don't intend on driving on the motorway yet. I wish I could have tunes on. This is just so weird. I'm driving on my own. It's bizarre. Do you know what? It's like, it's fine. I've got you guys. I've got my mates with me. This is a very narrow road and there's people coming up it. Hopefully we'll be okay. I'm not stopping, so hopefully. It's even the fact I've not got L plates on anymore, so people, like I've not got an excuse to be bad. Do you know what I mean? Like when you've got an L plate on, it's kind of like, oh, it's fine. People will, people know that I'm a learner, so it's fine. But now I've not got them. So my test, I thought I would just have a little chat about how my test went. Um, well, I passed it, obviously. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here now. I had been driving for since the last lockdown stopped. So when was that? A couple of months, a few months. Um, yeah, and I guess the reason why I've not driven in so long was because when I went to uni straight after school, I was I went to uni in Aberdeen which is quite a small city and I didn't need to drive to be honest and it was quite good for me that I didn't drive because it meant I could just walk everywhere you know So she got it done 
and it's raining that's just what we want is that how yeah okay she knows she knows how to pop them on it's all good i was very nervous before my test as i think everyone is like if you're not nervous before you drive and test then you are just made of something else you know i was pretty nervous didn't tell anyone didn't tell my parents or my friends didn't want anyone knowing when it was just because i kind of wanted to see it as like a chill thing and then the more people i told the bigger thing it became if you know what i mean so i just didn't tell anyone um but it went all right went fine my examiner was all right he was chatting to me a lot he was quite a nice guy he was chatting to me is this do i go up here yeah Reverse, reverse, reverse. That guy just looked at me as if I was an utter idiot. But it's fine. There we go. And it's raining. I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to hear me with my wipers on. So that's great. What a lovely person waiting for me. guys this is terrifying why did i go down this road please don't hit my car okay we're all good oh my god this is not what you want on your first drive I'll tell you that much that was terrifying oh why did i go on such a small road that was scary and there's nowhere to even pull over on this road that's actually terrifying why am i going on this road ah! this road is scary i don't like it i don't even know if it's taking me to the right place Oh, she did it, she did it. I just don't know if it's taking me to the right place. I really hope it is. And there's nowhere for me to pull over. That's the worst part. See, this is the issue because now I don't have L plates. People won't move out of the way for me. I've got to do that myself. You know? When you've got an L plate and you're going down like a small road or something, people will move out of the way for you because you're the learner and they're like trying to be nice. Whereas no one knows. No one knows that I'm stressing. So no one's gonna move. I really don't know if I'm going the right way. Can you imagine if I ended up on the motorway? No, not even not even talking about it. No, this is it is! Woo! I'm on the right road! Guys! Something just hit my windscreen. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? I mean it seems to be fine. Something definitely just hit my windscreen though. Oh, that was not the route to be taken on my first ever drive on my own. The smallest road where two cars can't get past. That was terrifying. Nice hill start coming up. Are you ready? Are you ready? No, I'm not. Yes, she is. She's ready. <laughs> I got two minors. Never, never got round to that bit. On my test, I got two minors, which I'm happy with. I'll take that. Very happy with that. Also, my driving instructor was lovely. I'm just ugh, my. I'm speaking a million miles an hour right now, aren't I? I'm very aware of it. I didn't even tell you properly about that. My my. Uh, I didn't even tell you properly about my examiner. He was very nice, very chatty. At some points, I was a bit scared. I was speaking a lot. 
and it was difficult to properly concentrate and have a proper good combo as well. He was very chatty, just about life and things. But nice guy, nice guy. My manoeuvre was a parallel park, reverse parallel park, which, again, all good. Do you know what? I actually think a parallel park is my favourite. Like, yeah, if I had to pick, I probably would have wanted that one. So I was quite happy with that as well. So all in all, very good. Get ready for some drive with me's. First one, here we are. So guys, who would trust me? Who would come in my car with me? Would you trust me to give you a lift? That's the question. I'm like, where do I go? Like, I can drive now. It's so bizarre just being able to drive on my own. Where do I go? I don't know. I guess because I work from home, I don't need to drive to work which is one of the main things, I guess, isn't it? Driving to work. So I'm just kind of waiting for my friends to give me some plans so I can drive. <laughs> She's alive. We're alive. <laughs> I was going to go into town as well, but actually I don't think you need that long of me driving. I don't think that's fun. She's back home. <sighs> this doesn't feel like real life. Oh my God, there's my little puppy. Let's stop the car. Let's go a bit forward. Can you see my puppy? I don't think you can. <sighs> okay, let's keep going. Guys, just call me. I don't know, what do you call a good driver? A good driver. Am I being really, really dramatic? Or were you guys the same when you first went out on your own in the car for the first time ever on your own? Because I feel like I'm being so dramatic and just like, shut up. But it's, to me, it's a big deal. I'm sweating. We did it. We did it. We're in one piece. That's the first one done now. It's going to get better from here. That was just a little taster. Drive with me will be coming. We'll be doing that because I just, it's a nice place. I, I've always, it's a nice place. <laughs> it's a nice place to sit and just have a little chat, a chill chat. Okay, let me open the window and I'll, bloody hell. I'm gonna love you and leave you. Sorry if that was super boring. At the end of the day, we're alive and I'd rather be alive than have a super entertaining video, which was what I was saying at the beginning. <laughs> Even though it would have gone viral on YouTube, maybe if I'd have done something crazy, I'm very glad that I didn't. So yeah, good luck to all you learner drivers out there. If any of you are watching it, you'll smash it. If any of you were going for a drive for the first time, I hope I gave you some confidence. Probably didn't. Love you guys. Just want to document more of my life on here so that's what i'm going to do and I, I guess now being able to drive on my own it means i can do more of that because i can just go about toot around i shall see you guys tomorrow am i all right i'll see you guys tomorrow i'll see you guys very soon in a new video it's like you're my friends i'll see you tomorrow right i'm gonna go now goodbye guys hope you enjoyed see you in the next video bye bye guys Look what driving down that stupid road did to my car. Bad decisions. 